Hi, it's Sarah here from In Spirit Coaching, and in this video, I'd like to share with you a little bit about what an Earth Angel is, how you might recognize yourself as one, and also how you can find out some more information if you'd like to. Now, I meet so many Earth Angels, sometimes on a daily basis, and most people have absolutely no idea that they are one so i hope this video is going to help you today so what is an earth angel an earth angel also known as light workers crystals or indigos are souls that have incarnated with the express purpose of helping the planet and humanity as a whole a higher global mission now we all come from the same divine source but not everybody is an earth angel and certainly anybody who isn't would not be watching this now so let me tell you about some of the characteristics and just to see if you resonate with any of these. The first one being highly sensitive. Now, I don't know about you, but as a child, I was always told, Sarah, will you stop being so sensitive? And this is a trait that we most of us tend to have in the fact that we are highly sensitive to other people, to environments, to energy, to harsh chemicals, to violence of any form. Another characteristic we tend to share is that we just feel different. We can feel alienated or separated from other people. Now, unfortunately, sometimes Earth Angels are viciously bullied as children. Now, this is because children pick up that they're different. And this can certainly carry on into later years as well. Another characteristic is just having a strong sense of purpose. Just knowing that you are here for something so much greater and you just want to help the planet in some way. Now, most people have absolutely no idea what their purpose was. I did it myself for such a long time, and yet I knew from a very young child, in fact, that I was here for a reason. I was here for something big. I was here to help the planet in some way. So if you know you're here to help the planet in some way, you know you're here for a purpose, for a reason, don't worry if you don't quite know what that is yet. Another characteristic is the frustrating or challenging relationship problems. Now, sometimes we can be a bit like a black sheep in the family. Uh, we might have been born to abusive or emotionally unavailable parents and just feel separate from them, just feel completely different. But this is sometimes because we are like the guardian angel that's been sent to that family to help them in some way. This can also certainly play out in later relationships, either in love relationships or friendships, um, that they can be very challenging or very frustrating. Another characteristic a lot of Earth Angels have is addictions. This can be to food, cigarettes, drugs, alcohol, relationships. And quite often what I've found is this is when we're literally trying to dull out this big purpose that we have, this something greater than us, what we're really here for. So we try and put it on the back burner and cover it up with addictions. Another characteristic that a lot of Earth Angels tend to have is that they have strangers telling you that telling them their problems. I've certainly had this many times in my life. Someone I have no idea who they are I've just suddenly start talking and they start telling me all this stuff. And I say, oh, I've never told anyone else that before. And I've always known that I've been in the right place at the right time to help somebody. So you might find that's happened with you as well. You might also find that you look younger than your chronological years, which is a characteristic that a lot of Earth Angels share, which I think is an added bonus. Um, also, we can quite often look like our namesakes. Now, just as our um, environment and our personal history can affect our appearance and our personality, so can all the lives that we've logged in other realms. So you might find that you look like an angel. We've been told that. You might look like a fairy or a pixie. You might look at like you don't even belong on this planet. And the chances are your previous lives may have been on, on other planets. Um, another thing that not all Earth Angels have, but a lot, of, a lot of them do, is they can have a ringing sound in one ear. Now this is actually angelic information that's being downloaded to help you with the current situation that you're going through. So what you can actually do is ask them to actually just turn that down a little bit for you. So do you recognize yourself in there? With the sensitivity, the, the feeling different and disconnected, the strong sense of purpose, the relationship problems, the addictions, the people telling you their, their problems. 
if you do reckon stuff, the chances are that you're an Earth Angel, certainly if you're watching this. So if you'd like to find out a little bit more information about what realm that you're from, you, you can do that on my website, um, which is www.inspiritcoaching.co.uk. If you pop in your name and email, I'll forward that report on to you. And also for you just to know that you're so important right now. You know, you chose to be here on a higher level. You, you knew you was coming here to be alive at this particular point in history. And you wanted to learn and grow quickly, which is why you have probably been through all kinds of stuff. You know, we don't choose an easy ride. In fact, it's quite the opposite because through the greatest challenges become the most growth. So please, if you are really struggling right now, please do seek some help and also know that you are not alone. Um, so I really hope this video has helped you today and thank you so much for taking the time to watch it.